are going to finish all the junior ladies right away, explained Paul, as he watched the girls find their own spaces in the arbor and get themselves into their starting positions. The one in the purple and the white is Lisa, Leanne's sister, Paul explained as he excitedly pointed out his cousin to Jeff. She dances jingle like her mom. I like the sound of those little bells, Jeff said as he would watch the dancers intentively. He quickly caught, him, caught himself and added, the same way I like the sound of the deer hooves clicking together on, their, on your ankles. Lisa's bells are called jingles, Paul explained. Grinning at Jeff, this dance is a is special to our relatives because it's an Ojibwe medicine dance. And some of the mom's relatives are Ojibwe. Now, a lots of women from all different nations dance jingle. My baby sister, Laura, will be a jingle dress dancer, I hope, Paul paused, looking thoughtful. When my Magushin Mary, my mom's auntie, was young, she was given the right to dance jingle. She told me that Back in the day, you only danced jingle if you had been given the right. That's because it's a medicine dance. My mom says that times change and we change with them. And now, so many women and girls dance jingle because they choose that style for that style of dance for powwow. What a medicine dance, asked Jeff. Does it make people better? Some people still know the story of how this healing dance was given many years ago answered Uncle Leonard. Many years ago, an Ojibwe woman had a dream. He continued, her people were living in a time of great sickness and she had a dream that would help them get better. It is said that in her dream, she was given a dress to make. The dress had 365 cells on it to represent each day of the year. So she also saw in the dream that the dancers would dance sideways as they shuffled their feet. In that way, they would make the shells cling together to get attention of the Creator and dance. The dance is a prayer. The dance has changed a lot over the years, recalled Uncle Leonard. How many of the girls dance fast? How many of the girls dance faster? Almost like fancy dancers. We still see old style, though. Now they call it Ojibwe round dance or sidestep. Maybe they will do one of those songs this weekend, and we'll see what I mean. If they do, I'll show you the difference. Jeff was listening closely. Although he, was, he still looked a bit confused, those things don't look like shells, he said to Uncle Leonard. You're right, Uncle Leonard replied. That has changed too. Now the dresses have metal cones called jingles instead. You know, modern, <laughs> he laughed. Jeff watched as the girls gracefully wove their way in and out of the winding pattern through the arbor. He thought that this might be his favorite category of dancing because he really liked the sound of the jingles and he loved the story of this very meaningful dance. So how did you like the story? Now we're gonna do this dance, so if you girls get over there, we're gonna do a jingle dance. <laughs> Okay, you guys go over there. Okay, baby. Put your, put your. Come over here quickly. River, come join River, us, honey. <laughs> okay, when I, when I start singing, you guys are gonna dance. You ready? Yeah. Hey! 